Okay, so let's have this topic. So, computing the sample size using the Slovene's formula. So, this is the formula where the small n is the sample size, the big n that's the population size, then e for the margin of error. But if there's no given margin of error, then use 5%. So we have this problem. So in the study, the size of population is 2,000. Then find the sample size with 97% confidence level. So from this problem, these are the given. So we have this the population size. That's 2,000. Then for the margin of error, that's E. Since the confidence level is 97%, so therefore the margin of error is 3%. Then convert this one to decimal, that's 0 0.03. So to solve now for the sample size using the Slovene's formula, so substitute now all the values. So we have this population size, that's 2000, then over 1 plus 2000 times E, that's 0 0.03 squared. So to solve now for the sample size, so simplify this one first, the denominator from the right to left, that's 0 0.03, then squared, then times 2000, then plus 1. So we have now 2.8. That's 2.8, so to solve now for the sample size, that's 2000. Divide by 2.8, so we have 714.2. So just take the first decimal, so there's no need to round off. That's 714.2. Now, since the sample size is a whole number, so therefore the final answer is 714. So this is now the sample size. Then for this given, so solve for the sample size for every respondent. So these are the respondents, the STEM, the UMS, the ABM gas, ICT, and the HE. So first, we need to compute the total population size. So just add all these population size for every respondent. So we have now 220 plus 330 plus 430 plus 170 plus 350 plus 400. So the total population size is 1,900. Then to compute for the sample size using the Slovene's formula, but since there is no given margin of error, so therefore E is 5%. Then convert this one to decimal, that's 0 0.05. So we can compute now the sample size. So we have now the population size, that's 1,900. Then over 1 plus 1,900, then times 0 0.05 squared. So again, to solve for this equation from the right to the left, so we have 1,900, then uh, 0 0.05 squared times 1,900, then plus 1, that's 5.5. 75. So to solve now for the sample size, 1,900 divided by 5.75. So we have now 330.4. Again, since the sample size is a whole number, so therefore the final answer is 330. So this is now the total sample size. So our problem now is to solve for the sample size for every respondent. So the sample size for the STEM, the UMS, the ABM, the GAS, the ICT, and the HE. So to solve for the sample size for every respondent, so we have STEM, and this is the formula, the respondent population size over the total population size times the total sample size. So for STEM, we have the respondent population size, that's 220 over n, that's 1,900, times the sample size, that's 330. 
So to solve now for the sample size, we have 220, then divide by 1,900, then times 330. So we have 38.2. So 38.2, then uh, since sample size is a whole number, so therefore this one is approximate to 38. Then to solve for the sample size for humes, so we have the population size that's 330 divided by 1,900 times 330. So we have 330 then divided by 1,900 times 330. So we have now 57.3. So 57.3, so approximate to 57. Then for EVM, we have this 430 so 430 divided by 1900 then times 330 so we have 74.6 74.6 so approximate to 75 then for gas we have this 170 so 170 divided by 1900 times 330 that's 29.5 so 29.5 so approximate to 30 then for ICT that's 350 so 350 divide by 1900 then times 330 so we have 60.7 so 60.7 so approximate to 61 and for the last one, the HE, that's 400. So 400 divided by 1,900 times 330, that's 69.4 or approximate to 69. So these are now the different sample size for every respondent. So for STEM, we have 38. For humes, we have 57. For ABM, we have 75. For gas, that's 30. For ICT, that's 61. And for HE, that's 69. So if we're going to add all the sample size for every respondent, we have uh, 38 plus 57 plus 75. plus 30 plus 61 plus 69 so a total of 330 but sometimes the sum of this sample size is plus or minus 1 so this can be 229 because minus 1 or 331 that's plus 1